Hey everybody, we wanted to let you know that it, it gets, gets better. better! We're here from Babeland in Seattle. It's a lesbian owned and operated sex toy shop. Um, and we all want to tell you about how it got better for us. So, Christy, do you want to go first? Yes, I do. Um, so I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah, obviously a very conservative place. And for me there, growing up, it just, it wasn't really an option even for me to come out and be queer. I didn't figure it out until I left, um, mostly because my sort of idea of what a lesbian was was very negative and so far removed from who I was. And even though I had a lot of gay friends and I really supported them, um, it just, it didn't happen to me until I did go to college. And then when I did, I moved up to Washington for school and it just was a whole new world. It really opened my eyes. I really discovered that there's a whole spectrum of queerness out there and that, you know, I found my place within that. Um, and I was just going to say, I grew up in Connecticut, and I never had a bad time of, you know, living there. I wasn't really open, openly gay there, um, but it did take me taking the step of looking to find a gay and lesbian queer center. It was in a neighboring town. Um, I had to, like, make my way there and, you know, go hang out at that organization. And I found friends, and I found community, and it kind of launched me into college and keeping a community that way, although I never really was comfortable being out when I was at work and with my family in Connecticut and it eventually took me moving to Boston to find a place that had gay clubs and you know a lot of gay people and I worked in a place that was very queer friendly and now I work here in Seattle at Babeland and I've got really awesome queer co-workers and I live in the most queer neighborhood in Seattle and <laughs> lots of queer friends and really I it I don't know how it could get better for me because it's pretty awesome right now and so I know that there's awesomeness out there for sure. You know, I want to add to that, you don't have to move away for it to get better. I'm from Mississippi, and I knew I was gay when I was about 13 at the latest. Um, it just kind of happened this way. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know anyone else that was openly gay in my high school or middle school. Um, so I felt very alone in that aspect. But um, thanks to what's other just, yes I am, and um, going online and finding my own community online, and then being able to visit neighboring cities in Atlanta, um, I actually got to witness what community felt like, but definitely you don't have to leave. I have friends that still are at home in my small town in the south, and they have their own fabulous gay community. So definitely tell folks out there that you don't have to leave to find all the all the great there is to be found out there. And I would add that the best way to join a community or to make your own community is to be yourself and be your authentic self. And don't compromise who you are because you're uncomfortable with who you are, but take pride in who you are. Find groups, um, whether it's in the arts or sports or people with uh, who are like-minded with you and try to develop community with them. That's what I did. And uh, I grew up in a small town outside of Seattle and I never thought I could, you know, be the person I am today when I was young and growing up and now I'm back in Seattle and I've got a great job with a whole bunch of other queer people and it's it's wonderful. And we just want to put a little plug in there for a local organization um, for queer youth. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. Um, there's Camp Ten Trees, which is uh, in the Pacific Northwest. It's in the, or the sound region and um, they do uh, two camps a year, two different weeks. They have one for kids of queer parents and then they have one for queer youth. So it's a whole week long with just a bunch of other gay kids. Um, really amazing way to like connect with other people. There's folks that come from all over the U.S. And if you camp, can't afford it, awesome. people like us pay for you to go to camp. Mm -hmm. So look up camp. Yeah, <laughs> they do scholarships <laughs> and everything. It's really rad. So we want you guys to know one important message which is it, it gets better. better.